If you're over six feet and you have big feet, you might want to ride the Skunk Ape. Hey, this is Kurt Jensen. I'm here in Washington State. The Skunk Ape's a directional twin, so the side cut is radial, but it's set back on the overall shape of the board, so you get that feeling of a directional pow board, but yet when you lay into the edges, it feels more like a skateboard, and if you have that skatey style, you wanna, you wanna ride fakie and pow, um, that's what this board does for you. The Skunk Ape has C2 technology, which is banana with camber so you can get that pop off the lip in the park um, and you can also get that float in the pow and land bolts on your snowboard when you hit a big drop and you're not going to go over the nose. It has magnet traction of course keeps you uh, locked in. Um, on those icy days you want to just rip it up or if you're on the steeps and you want to stick to the wall it's like having crampons on your snowboard um, but it flows too in the pow. So I want to give a shout to the skunk apes out there who helped develop this board. Trevor Phillips, Crush Kalooza, um, Kyle Phillips. Um, these guys have been riding this board and putting everything into it for over a decade, almost two decades. And uh, they kind of brought me on the team, you know, five years into it and kind of suggested to me that I should ride this board because I'm a bigger guy, more size like them. And, and they were right, and so we've collaborated over the last decade to make this board what it is, and I think it's really developed into something that um, everyone's gonna love. Part of the environmentally friendly deal with Mervin boards is not just to be easy on the earth, but it's also easy on the employees. Mike and Pete do everything they can to make sure that the materials that their employees are working in every day are not harmful to them, and keeps everybody safe and stoked and ready to go snowboarding and surfing too. Zero hazardous waste.